What is up guys, it's Boygans1, welcome back to a new video. Yes, I did remember my password, so today I'm gonna make a video. Today we're gonna be making a plug beat, not necessarily plug, you'll see exactly. It's gonna sound good, that's all that matters, honestly. And also, I'm gonna be using my new drum kit. Yes, I do have a new drum kit, and it's also 5 bucks. Also, 5 beat FLPs, so if you wanna f*** around with some beats, you also get these as well, such as this one. You get the idea. Anyways, today we're gonna be making the beat only using the drum kit, melodies and everything included. So let's start by picking a melody. I'm gonna start with this one specifically. You know the drill, we're gonna be adding a soft clipper to the master because that's how the beat hits properly. I'm gonna start with some light percussion, maybe some hi-hats. We're gonna be keeping it simple because that's the secret when it comes to beats. You don't want it to be too crowded. Yeah, this one. Yeah, this one and this one. And as for the snare, I'm not actually going to be using a snare. I'm going to be using a rim. And now we can actually start by making the groove. Classic two-step pattern. But actually, I'm going to put it down here so I can hear it as well with the melody. However, for the open hat, I'm going to disable the loop points. Just create this shape in the envelope and cut self. And I'm going to be doing this. which sounds pretty good. However, I'm gonna pan the hi-hat ever so slightly to the left because I like it. Takes up more room in the stereo field, I guess, like the sound stage. I don't know. Okay, and now I'm actually gonna add a another hi-hat and I'm gonna add some hi-hat rolls. So yeah, basically pretty much. So something like this. And now for the second open hat, which I picked maybe even at the beginning. And now I'm gonna add a kick and then the 808 and I'm gonna leave the 808 for last because I wanna have fun with it. This one should do. Now, the fun part. I'm probably gonna use like a couple of 808s. One for the main 808 and one for like a switch up, maybe intro, bridge, something. Let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna use this one as the main 808. Same thing, envelope and uh, cut self. However, I'm gonna increase the volume right here. No distortion needed. Also, make sure MIDI settings. This is all the way up. It resets every time for some fucking reason. So I actually hear the 808. And also, since this is G-sharp minor, because I label my shit, uh, view, scale highlighting, G-sharp minor. And now we can actually have fun with the 808 because the 808s are tuned in C for the most part. So, you know, you'll know exactly what note you're playing. So... something like this. But now you might say, oh Gonzo, but the 808 is too distorted. Everything sounds like, well, yeah, but then you can just, you know, EQ and then like. <laughs> However, I'm actually gonna extend this, make it twice as long, just copy everything, duplicate it, you know, make it twice as long because I do wanna have some variation in the 808, just not the same like four bars. And now let's play with the 808s. Okay, that's a weird 808, but I kind of fuck with it, so fuck it. Uh, but that's about it with the main pattern. So I am gonna split by channel, get everything back here, make sure they're all the same size, duplicate it, and now let's make a pseudo intro, and let's pretend that this is a structured beat. And now I'm gonna place back the 808, make unique. I am gonna copy the notes from this one, delete them, and then place them on the second 808, which sounds like this. And also same thing, envelope, cut self, no loop points, and some volume boosting. And I am only gonna keep the first part. That's gonna be our intro. However, I'm gonna make it a bit more...
And to even make it a bit more spicy, I am gonna use this 808 as a stacking 808. So I'm gonna put it on the track. I'm gonna copy the main 808 pattern. Oh, why did I duplicate it so much? So I'm gonna put this down here, make unique, and same thing, copy the notes, and then add them to the third 808 in this case. And you know the drill, disable the loop points, envelope it, and then cut self. And now I am gonna EQ it and get rid of the bass. And I'm probably gonna make this one a bit more. Um... Something like this, get rid of the old data weight, and now. You'll also notice that the kick does sounds a bit weird sometimes with the 808, like. So I'm gonna get rid of the notes where it sounds awful. So. This is how it should sound like, but you know, it doesn't really work with the, uh, with the 808. So what I could do, which is against Kenny Beats's way of doing it, <laughs> is sidechain the kick to the 808. So I'm going to use a preset from my other drum kits because I'm too lazy to redo it. There's a tutorial on my channel if you don't want to buy my other drum kits, but whatever. Okay, and let's pretend that there's gonna be a switch up and by switch up i mean just remove the kick remove the 808s and maybe get another 808 so and let's get another 808 this one also envelope it because otherwise fart And that's about it. We have a uh, pretty good sounding beat. However, we do need an intro, so. Uh, but that's about it with this beat and that's about it with this video. I'm gonna play the full beat in a second. As I said, if you guys wanna buy this drum kit, it's only five bucks. You can find it in the description. It will take you to my Gumroad page because I don't wanna fuck around with websites anymore. And you can also buy all of my other drum kits for 20 bucks. It's currently discounted from 40 bucks and that means all of my drum kits, well, except the new one, and I mean all of them. My loop packs as well, everything is in this one. So if you guys wanna still support me and also get some drum kits, you have the link in the description. And yeah, but that's about it with this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Here's the beat and I'll see you guys whenever. Peace.